The question is, write the roster form of set A equals to x such that x equals to 2n plus 1, where n belongs to natural numbers, n is less than 5. So first, take the formula which is given 2n plus 1. And he clearly mentioned that n belongs to natural numbers. So natural numbers start from 1 onwards, right? So in the place of n, let us substitute num natural numbers starting from 1 onwards. 2 into 1 plus 1, 2 1s are 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3. First natural number completed, and then next 2 into 2 plus 1 equals to 2 2s are 4 plus 1, that is 5. Then again, 2 into 3 plus 1 equals to 2 3s are 6 plus 1, 7. Then coming to the next, 2 into 4 plus 1, 2 4s are 8 plus 1, that is equals to 9. Then how many we need to substitute? It depends on the next condition, that is n less than 5. So less than 5 means we need to stop till 4 only. So our set will become set A is equals to, here whatever the answer we got, that we need to write in this set as the elements. 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 so this is the required set moving to the next question write set builder form so for the previous one they only give the set builder form and we wrote the roster form and here roster form is given then we need to write the set builder form so the given set a is 3, 9, 27, 81, 243. So now by looking all these numbers 3, 9, 27, 81 and 243, we need to find out some hidden logic in that or hidden pattern in that one or any formula is there mean that we need to find out. So if we observe this clearly, we will get to know that 3 can be written as 3 power 1 and 9 can be written as 3 power 2 that is 3 3 is a 27 can be written as 3 into 3 into 3 that is 3 power 3 the same way 81 can be written as 3 power 4 and 3 243 can be written as 3 power 5 then we need to write the set builder form for this so set a is equals to x such that x is equals to now observe this clearly 3 power 1, 3 power 2, 3 power 3, 3 power 4, 3 power 5. For every number, base 3 is common, right? So write that base 3 as it is. Now, if you observe more clearly, here power is 1, here power is 2, power 3, power 4, power 5. So power is keep on changing, right? So write it as power n and what about that n then n belongs to we are starting from 1 onwards right so now which number system starts from 1 definitely it is natural numbers so n belongs to capital n and n less than because natural numbers means again infinite natural numbers will be there so we need to mention particularly till where we are writing 1 2 3 4 5 till 5 we are writing right so it will be less than 6 this is the set builder form of the given set. Moving to the next question, write the subsets of set A, B, C. So writing subsets is very very easy thing. So what we need to do is first write the individual elements, then then two two elements together, then three three elements together. First let us write individual elements as the set. So set A, set B, set c comma now individual elements completed right now two two elements together a b set b c set c a a b b a both are same b c c a both are same c a a c both are same then single elements completed two two elements together completed now all the three elements together a b c then after go with one empty set also because every empty set is a subset of every set otherwise empty set is a subset of every set so this is the thing of writing subsets after writing the list of subsets then after once confirmation you need to go through uh, number of subsets number of subsets formula is 2 power n so that is 2 power n is nothing but how many elements are there in the given set 1 2 3 elements are there so 2 power 3 2 power 3 is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 right so it will be 8 so total 
eight subsets should be there so that is one two three four five six seven eight so total we have eight number of subsets next question is draw the venn diagram of a union b a intersection b a minus b and b minus a and a subset b so let us go with one by one first let us draw the a union b subset a rectangular box in that two circles which are touching with each other <coughs> one for set a and one for set b so union nothing but together right so simply what we will do is shade both the circles so this is a union b next coming to the second question that is a intersection b same as usual one rectangle box inside of the box two circles one circle for set a and one circle for set b then here we are drawing a intersection b intersection means the elements which are common in both right so here also the area or the part which is common in both that only we need to shade or highlight so this area is common for both the circles so that only we need to shade next one is a minus b and b minus a both are almost the same only so that is one rectangle two circles one rectangle two circles so here set a set b set a set b this i am going with a minus b and this i am drawing for b minus a <coughs> sorry now a minus b a minus b is nothing but from a we need to remove b so completely don't enter into the b's part only a we need to do that such so this is a minus b then what about b minus a b minus a means from b we need to remove the a completely so it means don't touch the a part that's it don't enter into the a circle so this is b b minus a then a inter union b completed a intersection b completed a minus b completed b minus a completed then last one is a subset b so a subset b is very small thing draw one circle again in concentric circle you draw one more so a and this is b so a subset b in our words if we speak this is the same as a smaller than b so it means a set a is smaller and set b is bigger so set a is smaller right so that's why set a is smaller circle set b is bigger circle so this is nothing but a subset b so moving to the next question if set a equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and set b equals to 2 4 6 8 then find a union b a intersection b a minus b and b minus a so first let us find out the a union b value a union b so a union b is nothing but we need to write all the elements from set a as well as set b and no element should be repeated so here i will write all the elements from the set a first that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now coming from to the set b in the set b first element is 2 but already i wrote 2 next is 4 already i wrote 4 then 6 then already i wrote 6 so next one is 8 so write that 8 also so a union b will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then coming to the second question a intersection b intersection is nothing but we need to write only the elements which are common in both so if you observe the set a and set b element 2 is there 4 is there 6 is there that's it only these three elements are common in both so a intersection b will be 2 comma 4 comma 6 then coming to the third question a minus b and fourth one is b minus a so let us find out how to write this a minus b and b minus a now according to the previous question we wrote a intersection b right so same like that only you first circle all the common elements now from set to a still what extra elements are remaining after circling the common 1 3 5 7 are remaining right right dot here 1 3 5 7 that's it 
this is only a minus b a minus b is nothing but from a we need to remove every element which is there in b now coming to b minus a b minus a means from the set b we need to remove now the elements which are common so 2 4 6 8 will be removed then remaining is 8 so b minus a is equals to 8 Coming to the next question, if set A is equals to A, B, C, D, E and set B is equals to A, E, I, O, U, then find A union B with the help of Venn diagram. In the previous question, we did A union B, A intersection B, A minus E, B, B minus A, but without help of Venn diagram, now in this question, we are going to solve with the Venn diagram. So this is rectangle small circle two circles one is for set a and one is for set b and we are drawing a union b right okay so what you need to do is first from the given two sets what elements are common a is common and e is common write those two elements in the common area here a then after what is remaining in set a b c d okay here b here c here d and here i o u this is i this is o this is u so this is the diagram then we need to find out a union b right so what exactly union means everything we need to shade so shade completely just light you shade that's it because again we should not disturb the elements which we wrote in that that's it. This is A union B. So now, under that shaded part, whatever the elements we have, those are A, B, C, D, E, I, O, U. So this is A union B. And sorry, <coughs> in the previous one also, I forgot to keep the universal set. Please don't forget this and don't mind. Okay, here everywhere, top right corner, universal set, universal set, universal set. That universal set will be represented with this set, like this, or else you can just keep capital U. Moving to the next question. If set A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, set B equals to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then verify the relation between N of A, N of B, N of A union B and N of A intersection B. So first of all, what is the formula we have? The formula which we know is N of A union B equals to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. I repeat, N of A union B equals to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. Now, in the question, they gave only set A and set B. But according to the formula we have, we need A union B as well as A intersection B along with A and B. So then, first of all, let us find out the A union B and A intersection B. Then after we will do verification of it. So first, if we go with the A union B. So in the union, we will write every element from set A and set B, right? So in this first set A, I am writing all the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, comma. And now from set B. In set B, 2 is there, but I already wrote 2. 4 is there, already we wrote 4. 6, 6 already we wrote. Then 8. Then comes last element 10. So A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Then coming to the next one that is A intersection B. So let us find out the A intersection B. So A intersection B is nothing but the elements which are common in both the sets. So uh, 2 is common, 4 is common and 6 is common. So it will be 2 comma 4 comma 6. Okay, now we have set A, set B, set A union B and set A intersection B. But still something else we need. What is that? That is N of A, number of elements in the set A. N of B, number of elements in the set B. N of A union B, number of elements in set A union B. Number of elements in set A intersection B. So let us find out those. 
n of a equals to n of b equals to n of a union b equals to n of a intersection b equals to <coughs> first n of a in the set a how many elements are there in the set a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 elements are there then coming to n of b in set b how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 then n of a union b in this set how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 elements and in say a intersection b 1 2 3 elements so now everything we got which very quiet then let us substitute now in the formula so what is the formula n of a union b equals to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b so what is the n of a union b 9 equals to n of a 7 plus n of b minus more sorry 5 minus n of a intersection b 3 9 is equals to 7 plus 5 12 minus 3 so that is 9 is equals to 9 Moving to the next question, if set A is equals to S T O R I E and set B is equals to T O Y S, then verify N of A, N of B, N of A union B, N of A intersection B with the help of Venn diagram. In the previous question, we did the same verification of N of A, N of B, N of A union B and N of A intersection B, but that without Venn diagram, this time he is asking us to go with the Venn diagram only. So, Draw one rectangle, make two circles inside, top right corner universal set, so one circle is for set A and one circle is for set B. Now from the set A and set B first pick the common elements, T is common and O is common, S is also common, so T, O, S, those three elements we need to write in our common part, to T, O, S. Then, what else are remaining in set A now? R, I, E. So, R here, I, and E. Then, what about B? In the B, only Y is remaining. So, we we'll write that Y here. Now, we are ready with our Venn diagram. Then, he is asking to write as N of relation, right? So, what is the formula? N of A union B equals to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. So, what is A union B? This total, right? So, in total, how many elements are we are having? So, this total we need to shade, right, actually. So, how many are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, then we need to find out A right in set A how many elements are there. So now this is total set A right this first circle. In that circle how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements are there. So number will be 6. N of A will become 6 plus N of B. In the set B how many circles we are having? Sorry, sorry how many elements we are having? So, this is set B, right? Total circle. In that circle, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, total 4 are there. So, N of B will become 4 minus N of A intersection B. How many common elements are there in both the circles together? That is this part. Sorry, this part. How many are there here? T, O, S. So, 3 elements are there. So, every number we got now. Let us do simplification of those numbers. We will get the final answer. So, that is 7 is equals to 6 plus 4, 10 minus 3. That 7 is equals to 10 minus 3 is 7. So, 10, 7 is equals to 7.